Hi YouTubers, Jeff Cote here with uh, Pacific Yacht Systems. All right, we've got a question from Isaac. Isaac asks a question that is actually pertinent to all of us. He asks, should the engine ignition switch, glow plugs and gauges be connected to the engine battery or house? And do I make sure the keys are not left on and flatten the start battery? Two questions here. Um, we're gonna try to meet this within our kind of little time allotted. So anything that's related to starting an engine or running an engine should be running off your engine battery. Uh, the reason I do that is I, I think it's important to have isolation or separation between what I consider mission critical loads and also house loads. Anything related to your engine, and you're right Isaac, like engine gauges, uh, fuel pump, uh, blowers, all these things that are essential to running your engine should be running off your engine battery and not out the house because you don't want to have to worry about a depleted house not being able to run those essential loads like gauges while you're running your engine. So that'd be the first reason. So yeah, keep it all on the engine battery, much simpler. And that way you always know that your engine battery is there just to do one purpose, which is run all engine related loads. The sub question there, which is actually a really good one, is how do I make sure the keys are not left on and flatten the start key? So a moment ago, I realized how beautiful uh, the no oil pressure sender is. I remember this uh, looking at my own gauges on my boat and I was trying to figure all this out, looking at the back of my instrument panel and I was so confused. All these wires and I'm looking at like, every time I turn my ignition key on, if my engine is not running, I have this loud buzzing sound. That buzzing sound serves two purposes. One, it tells me that my engine key is turned on and that there is no oil pressure, right, on my engine. And I know that because there's a sensor that is there waiting to sense some sort of oil pressure. Now, what it also tells me, it tells me obviously that my engine is not running and that my key is on, but it also reminds me, and this is really po powerful, it reminds me that my no oil pressure sender is working every time I'm about to start my engine. It's telling me that whenever I'm going to lose oil pressure, which can happen on a boat and is definitely catastrophic, not sure if I pronounced it right, but pretty close, that basically uh, I'm going to get an alarm. So if on your boat, all of us, when you turn the ignition key on, not to start, but just on, so the instrument panel is energized, you want to make sure that your oil pressure sender is actually giving you an alarm and telling you that your engine is not sensing oil pressure and therefore is alarming. And the moment that you start the engine and the oil pressure builds up, then the alarm is going to go away and then you're going to stop having that annoying sound, which reminds you that obviously you have oil pressure and also that your engine is running. And at the moment you stop your engine, you should hear that no oil pressure alarm ring again, reminding you that your oil pressure sender is working and then you turn off the key and then you have perfect silence. And that is how modern engine panels run. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, ask them down below or go on our website to fill one of the forms. Also, support to keep this YouTube channel ad-free by donating on PayPal or purchasing some merchandise on our store. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.